tenants at odds with property owners and building managers over maintenance issues in their buildings is certainly a major issue in the city. One that usually ends up with letters being exchanged and promises being broken. That is, until renters start to organize and pay the landlords a visit themselves. It's gone to the point where we can't handle it anymore. It's it's unlivable for us, and we just can't we just can't do it anymore. <laughs> so we're here to demand in person because we have sent as many legal and appropriate ways to get a hold of them. Residents from across the city, each tenants in buildings owned by Medallion Corporation, trying to deliver a message, starting with a petition demanding better living conditions, resulting in raised voices with signs and flags being taped to walls in the company's lobby. Housing is a right. Fight, fight, fight. Conditions like what can be seen in these photos from 670 Parliament Street, one of the buildings in St. Jamestown, prompting residents like Michael to want to take part. I live on the main floor and there was a crack in the foundation. So it rained and all the water came in and it heaved the parquet flooring. Uh, it washed in all kinds of uh, bugs, bed bugs, cockroaches, everything. And I had to fight with them for two years to get it fixed. The medallion tenants say they've made multiple attempts to reach out with concerns and complaints with no results. Their actions on this day not resulting in much beyond closed doors and calls to police. More than 10 officers arrived and quickly escorted the protesters from the medallion offices without charges being laid. The police say that we need to leave, that they're going to try to arrange a meeting with them, that I found this very strange, so I never heard something like that. They say that they're going to press them, well, not press, but tell them that please give it a car, and so then we can call it. ACORN, the advocacy group that brought the tenants together to protest, say organizing is often the only way for residents to be heard when dealing with issues. It makes them think, it makes them go, you know what, maybe we do need to do something because if so, this can escalate to somewhere else and they get fined or they'll do something, they'll get something that they don't want. Medallion did provide a statement to City News calling the group self-appointed tenant activists and that it would keep its attention on actual residents while providing a safe, secure, and well-managed rental community that meets the needs of the people who call it home. Mark McAllister, City News.